All right, boys and girls, and welcome to Gorda Guitar. And I promise to save the best for last when it comes to Halsey and her new songs. This one is called Darling, a beautiful and cute uh, song here from Halsey. So yeah, let's start. We need to set our capo here on the fifth fret to match up the sound with the high notes here. And uh, you know what? We don't really have to go through the different chords here. I can just mention them, but this song is straight to built on uh, picking patterns. Uh, so we won't need the full grip or chords there. So uh, yeah, I can just mention the chords we're using and what this pattern are based on. So it's based on the A minor seven, the G, the G with the B in the bass, uh, E minor, C and D sus. So those are the different chords in this song. But as you saw there in the intro there, it's uh, just picking song here. So let's go through the different parts there. We have mainly two different um, melodies or licks or whatever you want to call it in this song. So one goes for the intro and the verse and one goes for the choruses. So let's start with the intro and the, the verse there. It's based upon the G, A minor 7, the G with the B in the bass, uh, the D and the C or actually the C at 9 uh, so yeah let's go over for each chord there so first the chord will be G here it will be played like this so that is third on E open D open G and first B Right. The next chord is the A minor 7 and that will be sound like this. So that is open A, 2nd D, open G and 1st B. The next chord will be G with B in the bass and it will be played like this. So that is 2nd on A open D, open G, and third E. So, so far G, A minor 7, and G with the B in the bass will be sound like this. Okay, and then we have two more chords there. The first will be D or D sus. And it will be like this. So that is played open D, then open G, then back to open D, and third B. So. And the final chord will be C at nine. So that will be third, uh, but yeah, it, can, it sound like this. Okay, so third on the A string, second on the D, open G, and third on B. And this you will play for four times. Everything else you just go through one time, and the final chord here, the C at nine, this little melody there will be played for four times so okay so i will go through the different uh, chords here and play everything from the g to the c at nine a little bit slow so you can get the idea of how it sounds and then i'm gonna speed up and see if we can get the right tempo there so let's go So that is how it sounds. So let's see if we can play it in standard tempo. 
I believe it's kind of that fast or perhaps even faster, I don't know. Yeah, something like that. All right, so that is the pattern here. You're gonna play for the verse and that will be played for four rounds for the first verse there. And that brings us to the chorus. And in the lyrics, we are at Darling, Don't You Weep. Okay, so that part is uh, based upon the E minor, the D, back to E minor, then the G with the B in the bass, and then the C at 9. Okay, and we will play a new pattern here, picking pattern here, for four rounds. And um, so, yeah, let's start with the E minor there. It will sound like this. Like this. So you have the second here on the D string, the third on the E string, the open B string, and the open G string. So we move on to the D. Sounds like this. You play it with open D string, second E string, third B string, and second G string. Then we go back to the E minor again, and that will be the same pattern. So, same as we learned the first E minor. So, so far, E minor, D, and E minor sounds like this. Alright. The next will be the G with B in the bass. It would sound like this. Okay, so that is second on A string. Third on B string. Open G and open D. And the final chord will be the C at 9. So it will sound like this. Sorry. So that is third on the A string, open E string, open G string and third on the B string. So all these chords here, E minor, D, E minor and G with the B in the bass, you play them for one, one round. And the last chord here, the C at nine, uh, you will play that for four rounds. So. that follows uh, the first uh, melody here, which we also played one for each chord, except from the last chord, say at nine, again, the same pattern four times. So um, slowly this, uh, this second here, uh, melody, which is played for the chorus, uh, will sound like this. I'll play it a little bit slow for you. And that is played for four rounds in the chorus. So with a little bit speeder tempo, it will sound like this.
yeah so that is the chorus there and then uh, we will play the second verse there right after this chorus and it's played in the same way as the first verse except from every other C chord in the end so you're gonna play one standard round for um, for this pattern here and four C's on the end and then you're gonna start again on the second round and when you come to this C here on the second round you're just gonna play sorry so that's pretty much easier and what that is you're just gonna hit the third here on the A string and three times on the open G string and you do that for four rounds same way as you play the C at nine on the on, yeah, in the standard picking there uh, also four times Okay, then on the third round you play standard way again with the standard C ending there. Four times. And on the fourth round you go again with this same on the open G string. So that is the only difference there from this second verse uh, to the uh, first verse there at every other time on the, uh, on the round two and round four you're gonna hit the C chord like this yeah and that brings us to the the chorus there this is played in the same way again as the first the first chorus and we even have this post chorus uh, which is kind of yeah uh, prolonged uh, chorus there you will do it will play the, the chorus for two times right after each other so nothing new there you play for a total eight rounds of this other melody yeah so eight rounds of that and that brings us to a bridge part uh, until it's time to see the lights that's in the lyrics where the bridge part starts and you will play that in the same way as you played in the second verse there uh, that every other C will be played like so just follow the second verse and play in the same way in this bridge part and yeah this song ends with the final chorus and post chorus in total again eight rounds of this uh, pattern here And you know guys that pretty much covers this beautiful song from halsey called darling so um yeah a bit challenging with this um, picking here sometimes we go up in level when it comes to playability here but uh, this is the easiest way of playing this song cape on the fifth to get these high notes here with pretty easy chords and grips there so yeah good luck with this one and uh, tell me what you know about this tutorial um so yeah see you soon and don't forget the side from thumb up and subscribe play tuned